twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. How are you? Gratus, are you okay? Are you fine? I'm fine. It's a teacher announcer. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Wow. We did number patterns. Have you seen number patterns? We have done them. We have done the counting in ones, the counting in twos, the counting in fours, in fives, in tens, forward, backward. And we have done them on a number line. Right now we are doing them on boxes. Now, when you look at this, what can you say about this? They have told us to fill in the gaps. What is this gap that you're filling in? And how do we know how you're supposed to fill in that gap? When you look at these numbers, what is so common about these numbers? Teacher, they either have a zero or a five. A zero or a five. So what does it tell us? The number means we are counting in fives. So when you're counting in fives, if the first number has a five, the second number must have a a zero. Wow. And so what is the missing number there? Which number is between 5 and 10 that has a 0? 5 and 15, it is 10. Yes, so we say 5, 10, 15. So which number is here? It must have a 0. And that number is 20. Then we say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We say 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. No, we are on. 25 and then 30. So we say 31, 32, 33, 34. And the missing number here is 35. So from 35, when you add 5, you get a 40. Then from 40, when you add 5, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So you get it is 45. Then after 45, you get a 50. After 50, which number? 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Very good. So, which ones are our missing numbers? Our missing numbers are 10, 20, 35, 45, and 55. Wow. Look at the next number. What can you tell me about the next number? What are we counting in? What are we counting in? Teacher, we are counting in tens. Why? All those numbers in that box, they end in, they end with a zero. So what are we saying? If the number here is 20, what was the number before here? It is 10. So we are saying 10, 20, 30. Which one will be the missing number? 30 plus 10, you get a 40. Then 40 plus 10, you get a 50. 50 plus 10, you get a 60. 60 plus 10, you get a 70. And 70 plus 10, you get an 80. 80 plus 10, you get a 90. And 90 plus 10, you get 100. So our missing numbers here are 10, 40, 70, 80, 90, 100. Very good. Now, when you go home, there is this game of cards where you can draw on a carton like this. Then you divide them into equal parts. Then you shed a place where there is a missing number. Are we together? Then you say, maybe if I'm counting in twos, I'll say, if I've skipped this one, I'll start here with the two. Maybe I shed here like this. Then I come and write here. Where there is a missing number, I do what? I shed. Then I come and <coughs> write there. Then assuming here there's also another number, I shared. Then after that, I write a. Then I finally shared here. So I want to identify which numbers are missing in these numbers. So you start, look at the numbers in there in the box and find out which one could be the missing numbers. The missing number here could be zero because of course you're counting in twos. Then two plus two, what do I get? Two, three, four. I get 
a four. So you're using the stick, the stick ons or the a different paper to stick on the number and put it in the correct space. So you will have to fill in here, fill in here, and fill in here. So that when we meet, we are going to go over it and find out who had a problem in doing the number patterns. Of course, with the help of your guardians. Up to there, any question? Any problem? Wow. So, I hope we meet in the next lesson. Thank you.